Hi, in this video we're going to talk about the Recova file recovery software, and it's made by Pureform, who makes CCleaner, so you most likely have heard of that program. So it's a free utility. They do have a pay-for version, which has some extra features, but we're just going to talk about the free one today because it seems to do a pretty good job. So what that'll do is it'll go back and it'll look for deleted files on your hard drive and actually allow you to recover them. But that'll depend on how old they are, you know, how long ago you deleted them, if that sector on the hard drive is starting to get overwritten by other stuff, that kind of thing. So what we're going to do, we have this folder called Important Pictures and Documents with some Word documents and some wedding pictures. They're not really wedding pictures, I just called them that. So we're going to highlight them all and do a shift delete, which will bypass the recycle bin. And so we're going to delete all those items. So now they're gone. So they're not in the recycle bin, so we can't get them back that way. So we're going to go open our Recover software. Right there. And bring it up here. All right, so what it does by default is it runs a wizard, and you don't have to do it that way. But for now, we're going to go through the wizard. So we want to look for all files because we don't have just specifically pictures or documents or that kind of thing. So we're going to pick all files. And if you're not sure where these files are, you could have it search the whole computer, but that's going to take some time. Or if you have it on any media card, like that kind of thing, you could use that or in the My Documents default folder or in the Recycle Bin. But ours is in a specific location in that important Pictures and Documents folder. So we're going to browse to that. And click OK. And then Next. And then it's going to do a scan, the deep scan. Um, you could try that secondarily. If the first one doesn't find anything, it'll kind of it'll do a more in-depth scan, but it takes a long time to do. So for now, we're just going to do the regular scan. And bring it back here. OK, so that was quick. I don't know why it keeps going in the corner, but here we go. OK, so these are all the ones that it found make this full screen and you can see here nothing's been overwritten yet because we just deleted them so obviously nothing's going to overwrite them in the deleted files um, the state is excellent the size the last modified and the path and then the name and so if we want we could just check these and do a recover but let's see what advanced mode does this will let you do a preview if it's available. Looks like for this one it's not. Tell you info about the file, how big it is, the state, when it was created, last access, so on. And some header information. And you have your options here, general options, you know, language and how you want to view it, if you want to view it in a list or thumbnails, that kind of thing. If you want to have that wizard that we we're just talking about show up at the starting. If not, otherwise it'll just go right to this mode and updates. Uh, for scanning, if you want to do a more in-depth scanning, like deep scanning, or use or show files in hidden directories, that kind of thing. How many passes you want it to do. Uh, if you have these checked, which is an, in, an option at installation, you could have a menu on your scan, uh, recycle bin. It's where if you right-click it, and you could run recover from there. Same for Windows Explorer. And what drives you want it to show, and that sort of thing. So let's just, for now, recover all these files here. So we highlight the ones we want. Also, there's colors here. So you know, if there was yellow, that means that it's kind of iffy. And if it's red, it's going to be hard to restore. Because as you delete files and as you write new files, these clusters will be overwritten by new data. But as long as you don't save any new information or write anything to that drive, these will stay fine for a long time. So if you delete them a week ago, then you don't have to worry about it if you haven't written anything to that disk for a week. So the longer you wait and the more data you write to the disk, the less chance you're going to have to recover the files. All right, so back to this. So we're going to highlight them all. Click on Recover. And we'll put it back in that same folder. And then it gives us a warning here. You want to restore to the same drive. This can reduce the chance of successful recovery because it wants you to restore them to a separate drive, but in this case, since we know it's their small files and it's going to work, we're going to say yes. And it says recovered 19 files in 3.34 seconds, so that was really quick. You're probably not going to get that lucky on your situation unless you realize that you just deleted them 
right away. So now we're going to go back there, and you notice we have all our files back, and everything's good to go. And that's pretty much it. So Recover is a free download from the Pureform website. So you just install it and run it and point it to where your files are that you deleted, and hopefully you could get your files back. All right, thanks for watching.